how about the sine inverse of the cosine of two pi over three? Now, if this were just the cosine inverse of the cosine, oops, of two pi over three, well, I know that whole purpose of the cosine inverse is to undo what the cosine does. So the answer there, if that's in the right quadrant, should be two pi over three. What's the right quadrant for the arc cosine? Remember the arc cosine lives between zero and pi, and that angle is within zero to pi. So that should be the right answer there. Now here I have the sine inverse though. So sine inverse does not cancel the cosine. So now I got to play around a little more. So uh, thinking unit circle, and the angle two pi over three. So this would be one pi over three up there. So two pi over three would be over here. And cosine is an X value on the unit circle. So that should be negative one half. So I can rewrite this right here as the sine inverse of negative one half. Now, what does the sine inverse give me? The sine inverse is going to give me an angle. So I could also say, well, what angle from the sine is negative one half? And so now I got to switch gears because on the unit circle, the sine is not an X value, it is a Y value. So now I think about Y equals negative half, which would be over here. And there are a couple of points associated with that, right? There's this point over here and there's that point over there. Now I have to also consider I have the inverse sine function and I know the inverse sine function only gives me angles from negative pi over two to pi over two. So that means I want this point right there and I need to measure that angle in a clockwise direction. If I tried to measure in a counterclockwise direction, I would get an angle outside of this range right here. And so that angle right there, sine is one half, that should be negative pi over six. So I should find that the sine inverse of negative one half is the angle negative pi over six, because I know that the sine of negative pi over six is negative one half. And this would be a good thing to check on a calculator. So what do I think the answer is? I think that's the answer right there. And I wanted an exact answer. Calculate only gives approximate. So I can ask the calculator. Now I like to type arc sine of the cosine of two pi, ooh, pi, there we go, over three, close parentheses over here and there. All right, so I get negative 0.5-ish. Now keep in mind that in the functions menu here, there is that sine inverse there. And the sine h, that's a whole nother thing. I don't think we're gonna get to that in this course. That's called a hyperbolic sine, totally different. So I could have chosen that. And then cosine two pi over three. Oh, close parentheses. Same number. And then I think that number should be negative pi over six. So let's check if that's true. Negative pi over six. And I get the same decimal evaluation. So the calculator helps me check, but the calculator does not give me the exact answer. So we've confirmed that is the right answer.